Alex before A has discovered a prompt hack that allows you to load photos into ChatGPT4 and 3.5. I'll link to his GitHub in the video description, along with the prompt that you can plug in to your own ChatGPT chat session and try it out for yourself. The way it works is you'll find a link to the photo that you want to load into ChatGPT and paste it into the chat session. And then ChatGPT will actually load the photo into the chat session window. You can then ask ChatGPT questions about details in the photo itself. And the interesting thing is it will load photos from after September 2021 beyond ChatGPT's training data. This is interesting because it means ChatGPT is actually accessing the current internet. From the examples I've tried, I still believe ChatGPT is just processing the metadata about the photo rather than actually scanning and looking at the photo itself. It seems to get most details about the photo correct when you ask it questions, but it also hallucinates minor details that make me think it's not actually looking at the photo. Admittedly, the false facts are minor, typically stating small things like the person in the photo has glasses when they actually don't, but it also seems like information it would get from the metadata about the photo rather than actually looking at it. So this doesn't work quite as well as the report that OpenAI recently put out about ChatGPT4, where they showed it explaining why memes are funny, but it is fun to play with and is an interesting way to manipulate ChatGPT. It's also interesting to see that it's pulling information from the current internet after its September 2021 training data. I tested this out by finding photos that were taken just recently, uh, like sports teams that won, and it was able to pull in the photo into the chat session window. But play around with it and let me know if you can figure out where it's getting the information about the photo or if you think it's actually looking at the photo and just getting minor details incorrect and let me know in the comments below. Thanks.